Hi, my name is Bethany Stahl and I am a full-time author and illustrator. Today, we are going to be talking about merging multiple Word documents into one. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here I talk about all things self-publishing and if you are looking for more information, go to patreon.com slash Bethany Stahl. Here I share additional tips, tricks, documents, classes, and more. So if you're looking to learn more about self-publishing, definitely check that out. And if you're looking for some other resources, go to bethanystahl.com slash classes where I have organized everything I have talked about up until this point on that platform. So it's really cool. Check those out and let's jump into today's video. So today we are going to be merging multiple Word documents into one. And if you are like me, you have likely separated your novel out into different chapters and Word documents. This is beneficial to keep things a little bit more organized as well as have your computer move a bit quicker. As many of you know, Word can get boggled down when you start getting into the 75,000 plus words. And it is also beneficial when you are moving it into InDesign to professionally format. However, if you need to form it all into one document to give to an editor or anything of that sort, this is how you do it. So we are going to go to this insert tab and from the insert tab, we're gonna go over here to object and insert text from file. Now I am using Word 2013, but all of the words are going to be relatively the same, even though things may move location, it's still going to be the same process. Now here I am just going to select all my chapters until here and then at the end of the story I really started making some massive changes so that is what I need from this and I'm just going to go ahead and click insert have a little bit of patience as that loads okay awesome so now this is all in here in one big, nice document. And you will be good to go. So you could save this, format it however you need to for your editor. If you have um, chapter headers, you can put that in there on those individual documents. Or if you just want it all in one big document, not separated, whatever your editor or whoever needs it in whatever fashion. But that is how you put them all together in a quick, easy, one-step process that I love. And really quickly before you go, I just want to cover FAQs about doing this. So a lot of you ask if you have formatting, so certain fonts, certain drop caps or title headers or anything of that sort, will that stay when you merge all of your files together or will the merged file erase all of that? So the answer to that is it will keep your formatting in the individual files. So if you have formatted each individual chapter separately, or if you do put any sort of tags or title headers in there to keep your document more organized, it will keep that when you merge it all together. So if you are looking to have some sort of organization, you may want to do that prior to merging them all together. When I did it in that example, I do not have any chapter title headers in there, and I may go back and add those and re-merge the documents again. That way my chapters are easily accessible and I can easily find where exactly one starts and one ends. But yes, good news is it does keep the formatting so you will not have to do anything again if it is formatted perfectly already. Now, if you're looking for other alternatives to Word, if you don't have access or you do not want to pay for it or pay the subscription fee they now do, there are free alternatives that you can use. And I'm going to go through that list really quick just in case some of you are looking for alternatives to Word. 
So there is WPS Office, which has an entire Office suite that is free to download and to use. There is also Apache Open Office, which is very similar to Word, and you are able to download this for free. There is also a free web version of Word now available that you do not have to pay a subscription fee for or purchase. And of course, there is always Google Docs, which I personally do use quite a bit. And I do have a handful of editors that now prefer to edit in Google Docs versus using Word documents like editors have in the past. So everybody is sort of has their own terms and has their own way of doing things. And in my experience, I've noticed a lot of the editors I work with have been transitioning to using Google Docs instead. If you're looking to work on your novel alongside of me, I am streaming live every Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we typically go for at least an hour, sometimes it's more. But I have been doing those sessions to help you write. And in a lot of those sessions, I have worked on this book and have progressed it further. So if you are looking to join me or join a writing group and help pace yourself as you work on your novel, definitely come join my live streams on Thursdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget if it has helped to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all next time. If you are looking for more information, go over to bethanystall.com slash classes. Here I have organized all of the information I have covered so far on YouTube and Patreon and any other sources all into one database. Now you can search through these sections and find answers to all of the questions you have about self-publishing. Here you can access behind the scenes courses, videos, files, documents, templates, contracts, behind the scenes tips and tricks, and additional additional documents and information all right here. A lot of it is free. Some of it is exclusive to my Patreon squad, which I highly encourage all of you to check out if you are looking to learn even more. I hope this database helps you answer any questions you may have about self-publishing. And don't forget if this video has helped or any of my resources have helped, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with an author friend. I will see you all next time. Happy publishing.